This is October 29th, IELTS speaking test. Hello, can you introduce yourself to me? Uh, my name is uh, Mason Hoy, I'm a CPS CEO, and uh, I uh, barely like playing football in Freetown. Thank you. All right. So, let's talk about transport. How do you go to work or school? Uh, some, sometimes I have to uh, go my by motorbike, and sometimes I walk by foot. What's the most popular means of transportation in your hometown? I think it's a uh, motorbike because uh, uh, in my neighborhood we also go by by, by by my motorbike. How far is it from your home to work or school? Just like uh, two kilometers. Two kilometers, okay. Do you think people will drive more in the future? I think yes, because now we have uh, we also go to work by uh, car or motorbike, and I think the future we have more. Yeah. We are going to go going over speaking part two, so you have one minute to prepare. Alright, so, you can your student. Describe a rule that is important in your school or at work. A rule? A rule at school, yes. Okay. You should say what the rule is about, what happens when people break the rule, why you think it is an important rule, and explain how you feel about the rule. Do you understand everything? Okay. All right, you have one minute. Are you ready? Yes. Alright. You have two minutes. You may begin now. Uh, in my school, we have a very, very large group, but uh, and I think we have three rooms is uh, necessary for people and students in that school. It's, uh, the first is uh, we uh, also say uh, hello, goodbye, thank you, and sorry when I we have uh, when we uh, have uh, the help by teacher. And the second is uh, don't smoke because uh, in my school if we smoke we have uh, uh, the bad student in and the last is uh, don't fight in school I think that is uh, necessary in the good uh, rule when my uh, school uh, have and uh, I think we uh, make it make it rule to uh, make pu people and students have a good uh, school and uh, have the good environment when we uh, go to school. Okay. All right. <clears throat> That's the end of part two. Now let's go on to part three. What rules should children follow at home in your country? Uh, I think just uh, say uh, hello, goodbye, thank you, and sorry when uh, in family when my uh, parent help you. And uh, that is the necessary rule when we live at home. Okay. On what occasions can children be forgiving if they don't follow some rules? I think some some people uh, suppose that uh, the rule is not very important. And but uh, I think that is the bad thing when I uh, when I am uh, uh, age. Yeah, I I say that uh, I think that we uh, don't have. We uh, not have a rule, and the rule is not uh, necessary. But my mom said, uh, if you think that, you are bad boy. And I don't know why my mother say that, said that to me. And uh, when I grow up, I know that. Okay, that's good. All right.
What rules should people follow when using public transport? I think that's a clear, also necessary for the police. Okay. I think the thing that I uh, know, because uh, if the police uh, and, <coughs> and the bad thing I know that is the accident when we uh, don't have a rule in transport. Okay. <coughs> What kind of rules do people need to follow in public places? I think the, the language mm -hmm. and what we say for the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the reasons that cause people to break rules? I think that's in make the, a good environment and a good public uh, space. Okay. When people break rules, how would they be punished in your country? When people break the rules, how would they be punished in your country? Uh, we feel, I think they feel uh, it's good because we uh, also uh, wish make a, the, a good country and the environment for people to uh, have a good day. Alright, that is the end of our IELTS speaking test. Thank you. Goodbye.